So, you thought you were going to do this without me getting my rematch clause? himself. This, this is, definitely looks a little surprised to see his best friend coming out here. This is this is now a three-way fight for the New South Heavyweight Championship. Oh! I think this would be a conversation that Adam would have had with Chris in the back that he had the plans to uh, cash in his rematch clause, but either way, looks like they've got a game plan here to team up and take out Rolando Perez. Priest ain't exactly known for his uh, forethought, Carmen. Now here we go. The champ. Face to face. Best friends. The champ unceremoniously dumped out of the ring, and now Crunk and Adam Priest facing off. Just like that, Chris Crunk's first ever shot the New South Heavyweight Championship in singles action. Uh, oh. Thrown right out the window. Adam Priest. Very, uh, Quickly reneged on that decision to uh, team up on Rolando Perez. Quickly went after Chris Crunk. Oh, what the? Oh, some, some seems to be boiling over here. This is like uh, paradise. Oh, and Perez grabs Chris Crunk and brings him out. Oh! Driving him into the steel ring post. I'll be some trouble brewing here between Priest and Crump. No! But right now, it's Priest and Perez. Oh. Priest looking for a little bit of payback. Perez fighting to defend his corazón. We the love of his life, the new South Heavyweight Championship. We mentioned a few weeks ago in action class just how focused Adam Priest was to regaining that new South Heavyweight Championship. It seems like there's no limits he won't stoop to. Even if it means winning the title over his best friend, Chris Kronk. Oh, the biggest prize in independent wrestling, Carmen. It instills gold fever. And it brings, shoots Rolando Perez in the corner, charges in. Oh! Gets two boots in the face for his troubles, and now Perez throws Perez. Priest to the outside. Just dumping Priest out. Crunk is back in, delivers a shot to Perez. You gotta wonder what's going on in the mind of Chris Crunk to... You gotta imagine he's feeling betrayed, Adam Priest coming out here, but... If you look back at the history of Chris Crunk, someone who hasn't exactly been uh, very faithful to his friends or his tag team partners. Good Lord! Crunk, someone who stabbed a lot of people in the back, and Rolando Perez! Perez is right back on his feet, ready for more. Yeah, Perez had a power bomb. Crunk hasn't exactly been the most solid of friends to know. Perez is switching to another gear. Well, Perez, pretty recently off, pretty recently off a four-way dance for the New South Heavyweight Championship. Well, what, what would have been a fatal four-way ended up becoming a triple threat when Chris Crunk could not make it to Southeast first. Now he's got finally got his chance in the New South ring. Oh, he's spinning back he's, elbow. He certainly wasn't expecting it to turn into oh. another triple threat. 
Just tossing Perez across the ring. No. Shoots him off. Big Uranagi. No. Calls his shot, double stomps right to the chest. Crunk certainly hasn't faced off against Miami Ice, this new, more vicious side of Perez, but Crunk, oh, takes Crunk. out Priest. Crunk himself is known to be pretty mean when he needs to be. Miami Ice with waist control. Crunk though holds on. Oh, oh, super kick. Crunk has been smashed, slammed, put through doors, oh. chairs, tables. He's been buried alive. Crunk going for that Blackfire driver. Oh! Two. Somehow, some way, Miami Ice somehow staying alive here. Meanwhile, Adam Priest on the outside trying to recollect himself. You think about some of the wild stuff that Chris Crunk has gone through to get to this point, Carmen. Get his chance to hold the New South Heavyweight Championship. Goes for that set up power bomb. Adam Priest has seen enough, calls a shot, goes for a power bomb of his own. Oh. Perez, Hurricane Rana. And the way that Adam Priest just slid on the floor outside. Perez got some momentum on that, and now he's back on the attack on Chris Crunk. This could be an opportunity oh. for either one of these men. Yeah. Perez sliding in with a flatliner. El Jefe is a wild, vicious man. Oh. The kingpin of New South has been a dominant champion so far. How long can he hold on to the New South Championship when the odds are stacked against him? There's triple threat rules. The champion does not have to be pinned to lose his title. We talk about great fighting champions like Adam Priest, like Cabana Man Dan or Donnie Janela, but... Oh, oh, Priest! Oh my God! Priest suplexing both! Chris Crunk and Rolando Perez at the same time. Miami Ice was turned inside out, and now it is all Adam Priest. Just the raw horsepower from Adam Priest. The focus and determination oh. to regain his New South Championship. There is no oh. lit. Adam Priest will not go to using his own friend as a weapon. Go for another power bomb. That one connects. Again. Now stacking up Perez. Crunk. Crunk breaking the save. Whew. Make no mistake about it. That wasn't any way to save the title for Miami Ice. And once That's again. All to keep the title in play for Chris Crunk. Yep. Once again, we're seeing the lengths that competitors will go to. Things are getting a little testy here. Oh, yeah. This. this this friendship might not survive this match, Carmen. Among gold has come between many a friendship. Among gold has destroyed friendships. It's pushed competitors to their limit. Folks will do darn near anything to win the biggest prize in independent wrestling. Rondo with a big chop priest. Say, oh. oh, a double super kick. Oh. Now all three competitors are down. Super kicks in stereo, and then a double clothesline to level the playing field. And say what say what you want about the way he's done it, Carmen, but. Rolando Perez has stepped up to every challenge in order to defend Breeze, the heavyweight Breeze champion. calling for that loaded forearm. Oh! Goes right to a super kick from Chris Crook, and now Rolando Perez. There Perez has those brass knucks. Oh. Funk had it scouted. A spinning back kick. Going for that one last breath. Chris Crook, you're new. Whoa. Oh. 
spoke too soon. Adam Priest pulls referee Garrett Kent out of the ring. Chris Crook was so close he could taste the gold. Had it pulled right from him, literally. Priest with Crunk was on the cusp of becoming the new New South champion. But Adam Priest, seem, Adam Priest seems offended by the fact that Crunk would pin Perez instead of him. Look at this. And now just coming to blows. Not sure how the friendship is going to be. Oh! It Priest seems just to be went in low. Tatters already. Priest. Priest monkey. Priest pulling out some dirty tactics. The side of Priest we haven't seen in quite some time, Carmen. This seems a little suspect to me that Adam Priest just interjects himself into the match without letting Chris know in advance. And now going low. What the hell? And now did, did, seemingly did, standing back and letting Perez. Oh. Just... Reese has handed the victory to Perez. The winner of this match and still New South Heavyweight Champion. Priest doing? He's got something looks like to tie Chris Crunk. some zip ties. Priest zip tying Chris Crunk to the ropes. Right now we got the New South trainees trying to get Priest to stop, but trying to run interference here. But Priest is a man on a mission. Crunk fighting for his life. Something to say. Uh, you know what that means. I just had something to say. You know, since I've been in wrestling, I've been told that I need to learn how to talk and I need to learn how to cut a promo. And it's not that I've been scared to do that, it's because a lot of Sissy-ass people are going to get their feelings hurt. So now, I'm not worried about that anymore. So, Chris, let me get back to you in a second, buddy. I'm blown up. It's no secret I've been disrespected by this promotion since the night I won the belt. I tried to do everything I could to raise the in ring in here and to not give Alabama a bad name. And I tried, but I'm not going to complain about some of those things. I tried to represent this place. I've, you know, I'm not just an Alabama guy. So I tried to represent us in Philly and New Jersey while all these other jackoffs in the back only wrestle in Alabama. Okay? I'm not having their old ladies take care of my bills. I'm as good as I am working a Monday through Friday job, barely getting in the gym, never working out in the ring, and I'm better than them without even trying. And all of you jackoffs know it too. And I'm not mad at y'all. I mean, I, y'all have supported me and I really appreciate it. But I'm sick and tired of representing this place and being disrespected. And I'm sorry to y'all for some of the things y'all have had to sit through and some of these long shows. And I'm sorry. Because I try to come out here and give y'all the best I can. Falling on the floor, falling on my neck, breaking my arm. But all that gets forgotten. And that leads me to you. I've busted my ass to get you back in here. After you have your little fits 
and your little mood swings and you leave and all your buddies try to defend you to get you back in here and you don't care. You're a sad boy. And you know, they're going to cheer this, but they get behind you every time you're out here. So we busted our tail to get you back into here. And to have you go through your little cycles and your, you know, all these things. And you come here, and you know what they did to me. And you're going to represent them now, right?